Welcome back to SnowRunner, and welcome back to Michigan, after a brief visit to Alaska in the previous episode. Now, I want to start with an apology, and I don't normally do this, but I need to. This episode is a lot longer than I wanted it to be. Uh, the reason for this will become apparent as we go through the video. We had a lot of issues, and I think going forward, I need to try and organise myself better, organise the jobs better, and go from there. This game requires you to be very organised, I think, and pick your, your routes correctly. If that makes sense, know your vehicles, that kind of thing. But this is the fleet start. We unlocked this after we unlocked the garage in the first episode. We never really had a quick look at it though, so here it is. Looks pretty good to be fair. Now, the first contract we're going to do today is going to be using the fleet star. And the, it is farming tools. It requires a curtain side trailer to be supplied to the farm. Now, it's saying there's a curtain side trailer right next to our garage. So that makes sense. If we can pick up this one here, easy job, easy money, easy XP. That's the plan anyway. Uh, we haven't driven the Fleet Star before, so this will be very interesting to see what it's like. It looks pretty good. It looks like it should be powerful, to be fair. It's got, yeah, it's got enough wheels. I'm hoping it's better off-road than the GMC is, especially after it got stuck in Alaska. We have brought it back, luckily, though. So we haven't really towed many trailers so far. And since we haven't done anything with this one, it's going to be interesting. So just ahead of us here, we can see some trailers. And there is one here. I oh, know that's telling us about trailers. Um, new trailer discovered. It is the service trailer. So this has what we need to take to the farm. Should be a nice, easy job then. So all we need to do is connect this up and then off we can go. Uh, I'm assuming it just connects at the back. I was kind of wondering whether we need to put something on the back of this to make it hook onto it, but I think it will just hook on. Lack of experience of trailers currently. We'll learn all this as time goes on, I'm sure. Okay, will we connect? How do we connect? Wrong button. No, I'm probably too far on it, to be honest. Let's move forward a bit and see if we can get it hooked on. Uh, do we need to be a bit closer? No, nope, there we go. It is on. Okay. We're going to head to the farm and hopefully get there in one piece.
And here we are at the farm. When you get stuck coming in, they really need to sort out the driveway of this farm. I know it's just flooded, but still, a bit of gravel, a bit of sand, something to kind of soak up all that mud would be helpful. But here we are, let's deliver this and get this contract finished. And there we are, farming tools is complete. We receive some money and some XP for doing so, and that is always good. Now, the next mission we're going to look at is the Steel River Supplies. We need to deliver things to the um, town storage. I couldn't, couldn't get my words out then. Uh, beginning with the fuel carrier trailer. We haven't used or seen one of these as of yet. So, according to the map, it's all the way over there. Okay. That's going to be tricky. It's going to be somewhere we've not been before. Obviously, we have the fleet start at the farm. That's probably our best one to go from because it seems to be quite a straight route. So, let's head out in the fleet start if we can get out of the actual farmyard and go and get this fuel carrier trailer. First, though, what is this on our left? New objective discovered. Okay. Data stopwatch, which tells me is a timer, and I don't like timers, so we might leave that one alone with the time being. So let's head on on, we'll keep going and see if we can get to this fuel carrier trailer. I think we're making decent progress, but we have discovered something new. This is a fuel station. You can see where we are on the map compared to where we're heading. We're getting there. And the road's not been too bad so far, which is always a plus point. So the fuel station is here. There's also a new objective as well. Um, we could probably do with topping up as we go, I think. If fuel is free, it doesn't cost us anything, so it's definitely worth topping up as and when we can. But what is this mission here? This is a TAR. So we learned previously TAR should always be accepted. And then you can do them as and when you're ready or when you're passing the objective. So this requires us to find a missing oil tank and bring it back here. So definitely not something we'll be doing just yet. I don't think we're ready for that. But at least we've got the task on and ready for when we are. So we're going to grab some fuel while we're here. And then we're going to continue on to this fuel carrier trailer.
and we've made it to the fuel carrier. Now I'm assuming this will connect up just like the previous trailer we had on earlier. It would make sense if it does. Uh, it looks like it's the same connection point. I'm guessing there will be trailers that have different connection points. Um, because as we was going through the shop with the Fleet Star, we could see you could have a saddle on the back of it. And that's a completely different type of connection. So that's something we'll have to discover as we go. Now, we're not going to head straight back to where we're meant to be taking this straight away. I have confidence in my ability currently. Maybe uh, too much confidence, we shall see. But there is something over this one I want to have a look at. It's not too far down the road though, but it was just something that appeared on the map as we got closer and closer to this. I wanted to see, and if it's another task, it's something we can do another time. This looks to be still more mud. This looks a bit trickier to navigate though. It's a bit more slippery, this mud, than the one we were just on, I think. Struggling a little bit, the weight of the trailer really makes a difference, and I hadn't allowed for that when I was thinking about things, to be honest. But this is what I was seeing. There's a task, I think, to pick up as we arrive. You can see the yellow, uh, yellow square there. Just got to get this fuel trailer to move forward a bit more. Definitely feel the difference when you've got a trailer on board. And I'm guessing it's full of fuel. Which would explain the weight as well, I suppose. Um, yeah, something I am noticing a lot with this trailer is the difference. Um, so that's something we need to learn about. Especially when we've got full trailers and empty trailers and the differences and how they are how um, the grip is in that respect especially up hills but let's see what this is we've just got to get we've just got to inch a little bit closer come on trader come on a bit closer a bit close okay there we go new objective so this is to fix the wooden bridge another task we can add to our long list or our growing list of jobs okay so now we've collected that now we need to turn around I hadn't thought about this, had I? Um, yeah. I hadn't thought about being able to turn. That's going to be an issue. I don't, I can't re I'm not going to be able to reverse all the way back, am I, either? We struggled getting the trailer to come up to this bit, and it wasn't that far. Um, okay. This could be an issue. We reversed it a little bit. Come on, a little bit more. No, I think I've made a mistake. I think I've made a big, big mistake. In fact, we had made a big mistake. Now, after doing a 30 to 40 point turn to actually turn the vehicle round, we then encountered another issue where we were stuck in the mud with the trailer still on the board behind. We were properly stuck. There was nothing we could do about this. And it was all because I took the trailer with me to see what was down there. I should have just gone without the trailer. Hindsight is a wonderful thing. So I had no choice at this point but to recover the Fleet Star and then I came up with a bright idea. Let's send in the GMC. Now we made it all the way here without too many issues. The GMC generally isn't very good on mud. We've found it's better on the main roads but I thought if we can get the GMC close by and just pull that trailer a little bit forward that would be enough. I'm going to try and stay away from the sticky mud that's underneath the trailer as it is. I'm just trying to winch it out a bit closer to us, essentially. And hope that the GMC has enough power to pull it a little bit. Even if we can you know, get it a little bit down the road, we can always bring the Fleet Star back. That's kind of was my thinking. Um, and to be honest, it worked to a degree. You see here, we're trying to just get in a position where we can winch this. I was thinking about connecting it straight up. I thought that might be a mistake. Um, we're too far to connect anyway. I, I'm in an iron whether to connect the trailer directly or winch. Um, and I couldn't really decide what to do. I think winching would definitely be the way forward. I think because the weight of it would hinder us when we start moving, the winch would probably help because we can pull. And there we go, we can pull it towards us now might even be able to connect up. We're still out of the mud here. We may have pulled it close enough to be able to connect. As long as we're outside that really sticky mud, we should be okay. We're still winching. Still winching. We are moving forward ourselves with the winch attached. So the plan is working. I am denied for a little while about connecting straight away, and we, in the end, the best thing we could do was not do so. So we are winching this forward as we move forward, and it's slow progress, but it's working. 
So we're going to continue this and hopefully be able to drive this straight back because currently the GMC looks like it's strong enough. The GMC itself was strong enough until we got to this point. This was the corner roughly where we picked the trailer up originally. That's how bad this got. And the GMC is now stuck. Yep, the GMC is stuck. Cannot move. I was trying to be clever and stay on the grass rather than the mud. And yeah, that kind of didn't work for us. And we are well and truly stuck. So we recovered the GMC. And we have sent back in the Fleet Star. And we're going to pick this up whilst we winch this trailer free from the sticky mud and hopefully manage to take this down to the town storage right so winching it now and hopefully this will pull it out we just need to stay on the firm ground winch the trader out a bit closer to us no point connecting up too early i think we might be okay this has taken me a very long time to even get to this point ridiculous editing this will not be fun so you're probably gonna have a mix of voiceovers i reckon in the edit um, it's going to be a mix of this, talking whilst doing, and uh, after the fact, I think. Okay, we've got the trailer pretty good on firm ground now. So now that's on firm ground, hopefully we can connect up and go. It looks like it's going to be possible. Just going to be careful, trying to stay out of the mud. I do think this may be our most powerful truck so far. I don't really know how to compare power. Um, that's not something I need to look at and work at. I think it also to do with tyres, although these tyres I think are normal. The GMC tyres are road tyres as well. We need we need mud tyres. We need off-road tyres. That's what we need. But let's focus on what we're doing. Let's reverse up, connect the trailer. There we go. Now, can we move with the trailer on board? If we can, jobs are good. Enough. We can indeed. We are moving. Right, let's crack on with this journey and head back to the town storage.
So the journey so far hasn't been too bad, we've had some ups and downs, this shortcut probably was a bad idea, cutting through by the farm, wasn't my best plan I don't think, uh, but we have made it back to the main road, that's the important thing. Now after making it back to the main road, we're going to skip ahead, this road we've seen, we've travelled up and down a few times, we made it into town with the fuel trailer on the back of the Flute Star extremely happy at this point so we need to drop this off as part of this steel river supplies contract there we go you can see that's disappeared but what i couldn't work out at this point was how to drop it off because normally when we've unloaded things previously they've disappeared now in the top right hand corner it has disappeared from that part of the, of the contract but the actual trailer is still there so i'm assuming it's going to disappear when we finally do everything else but at this point i'm not sure so we're going to detach and we still need to get consumables and wooden planks. Now the wooden planks, fairly simple job, we've got the GMC. So we sent the GMC onto the, the uh, mill, the wood mill I think it's called. Uh, we sent there anyway to get some wooden planks and deliver. But on the way there, or actually just around the corner from it, we came across a trailer. And I thought well we're here anyway, let's pick this up, I don't know what's on it, but if we pick it up it may be something we can use. So let's have a look what it is. It's got to reverse back through the mud. Okay, this is getting tricky to get down here. I was, thought I was being really clever by picking this up. Maybe we can winch it towards us here. Save us trying to go through all that water and mud to get this trailer. This may be the clever option. We'll find out in a second. No, it's working. The trailer is coming. New trailer discovered. There we go. Discovered a sideboard trailer. We're going to have no end of trailers by the end of this. I wonder if we should sell some of these at some point to gain some more money. Just because we're going to end up with a lot of trailers. We shall see as we go. I'm sure we'll figure that one out. So this looks to have wooden planks on as well, I think. Is it attached? Uh, I think we need to still winch a bit more closer. I haven't attached it yet. I'm just trying to winch it a little bit closer. There we go, it's attached now. It was just being sure we were going to be in the right place to do, do so. So we have the trailer and now we're stuck. That was clever. There is a post though just there. Can we winch ourselves with a post? We connect it up here, on the right hand side of the truck. Winch forward. Yeah, we had just gone on a little bit on the wet slushy mud. And I think that was because we connected up and it pulled us back a bit. But this post is helping us pull ourselves out. So this has the planks on we need for the Steel River Supplies contract, but what I'm thinking is we still load the GMC up with planks as well, because I think we can get two on the back. That would give us four lots of planks. I'm thinking ahead for other missions, maybe we need them elsewhere. So I think it's a bit of a waste to use them on the trailer when we can load two up as well. And that's four lots of wooden planks in one go. And then we can always deliver the trailer elsewhere once we deliver ours to the Steel River Supplies. In my mind, that's the best option here. So we're going to now head out of here and we just need to head up this side road. Just double checking, that's what it, it is planks. It's the same symbol on the trader, so it is wooden planks. Uh, we're going to head up that side road north. So I'm just looking at the map to see where else we need to take things to. So I think that's where we need to pick consumables up, is up the farm, it seems. We're, so we need to head north from here. This route will go up here until we get to the main part of town yeah seems a fairly simple journey so that's what we're going to do right let's head into town
we finally made it. This is why the video is so long, because we made many mistakes, and I've cut a lot of stuff out that I was intending to keep in, but I didn't have a choice come to the end. This video took two hours to record, um, and as you see, we haven't finished the contract. We have delivered the wooden, wooden um, planks now. We still need the consumables, which we need to pick up from the farm. But it, this video was that long, I just needed to condense it down. So that's why some bits have been skipped. Some of the journeys I've done already, we've skipped. But there we go. That is as much as we can do today, I think. Um, next episode, we'll try and get the Steel River supplies finished. I think that's something we need to focus on. And I need to organise myself better in terms of this is the job we're doing. It, once it's done, it's done. Admittedly, the first job of the farm was a bit too easy, so I couldn't just stop at that one. But yeah, we've still got a lot to learn, I feel. I think coming back from Alaska was definitely a good idea. But that is it for today. Again, apologies for the long episode. We'll hopefully shorten these down as we get into it. That's more and more. But thank you very much for watching. And we'll see you next time for more Snow Run.